fan favorite here at the True North Fantasy Podcast. Chris Godwin going back to Tampa Bay. Probably slots right in as one of those borderline top 12 guys for 2022, eh? Yeah, I mean, we'll have to monitor his health leading up yeah. to uh, the regular season. But with Brady back, I think so, too, is Godwin's wide receiver two label at the very least. Uh, and there's definitely upside uh, baked into that that label as well uh, for Chris Godwin. He's kind of interesting because Mike Evans is certainly the top target in this offense once the Bucks get close to the opponent's red zone. But I think Chris Godwin's a good bet to lead this team in targets in any given week. Uh I think what, what I'll be interested to look at is where where how do they deploy him, you know what I mean? He's played in the slot for at least 63% of his snaps in each of the past three seasons. Godwin's top five in yards after the catch uh, per game played uh, during that span amongst wide receivers. But you have Russell Gage signing here, which uh, we might touch on in a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how Godwin's used. Maybe, you know, he plays less in the slot. Maybe he accumulates his yards less after the catch. Uh, But in this vertical offense with Tom Brady at the helm, uh, and even with the health concerns heading into 2022, I'm still taking Godwin as a wide receiver too. Uh, right around names like Keenan Allen, Deontay Johnson, guys like that. I think he'll go in a range of the draft where we should be hammering wide receivers too. So. You know, the guy who was wide receiver six overall last year uh, in points per game, he was wide receiver seven, I believe, when he went down in week 15. And that was all despite ranking outside the top 40 and weighted opportunity. So I think he'll 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 be able to flex this versatility that I'm kind of painting the picture of in 2022. Yeah. <laughs> he just has to stay healthy. But uh, a wide receiver two bordering on wide receiver one territory, definitely in dynasty. He, he's more of a wide receiver one back end guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, redraft, maybe a wide receiver two, just because of all the weapons that need to be fed in that offense. For sure. And I'm kind of right in line with you there. You mentioned Deontay and Keenan Allen. I'm a little bit bullish on Chris Godwin, where I would probably have him at the top of that tier, but I, I would echo all the sentiments that you just kind of laid out there that he has that versatility. 